All right, let's take notes on um, 10.7, which is law of signs. So the first thing is you start with a triangle and the, always the angles are represented by capital letters. So we have A, B, and C. Across from each one, directly straight across, is the side. So this, and it's A, and it's represented by a little a. Little or lowercase is always the sides. So across from this, this would be B. And across from this one, it would be C. And they're all little. All right. If you have two angles and a side, or angle, side angle, then you can use your law of sines. Law of sines is sine of big A over little a is equal to sine of big B over little b, which is equal to, what do you think? Yes, sine C, big C, over little c. All right, example one. All right, we start with a triangle. And this up here is 115. Down here is 42. Across from 42 is x. And across from 115 is 4.3. And we are going to find x. So the first thing is it doesn't matter if it's A, B, or C. All it matters is that they are crossed from each other. So we have sine of 115 over 4.3. That's a point there. Is equal to sine of, yes, 42 over X. So what you want to do is you want to get rid, you want to get x off the bottom. But since you have two fractions and they're set equal to each other, the easiest way to do that is to cross multiply. So I'm going to multiply this side by x, and that's really you're multiplying this side by x, but it cancels out. So I have x sine of 115, and then I'm going to multiply both sides by like 4.3 and this side by 4.3, so that side canceled out, so I get equals 4.3 sine of 42. So you're really just multiplying this to this side and that to that side. Then I can see what I have to do, so I just have to simply divide by sine of 115. So sine of 115 over sine of 115, that's gone. So you simply throw that into your calculator. So you get x equals, and I'll wait a minute, you can throw it into your calculator. So put 4.3 sine of 42 divided by sine of 115. You should get, yes, 3.2. All right, let's move that up and let's do example two. Sorry. All right, example two. We have our triangle, and the top angle is 84. We don't know this bottom left. Across from x is 100. Across from 84 is 573. So, I want you to think about what, or how would you set this up? So take a moment and try to set it up. Or pause the tape and try to set it up. Hopefully you got sine of 84 over 573 is equal to sine x over 100. Now, because I want to get 
this by itself, I just want to get rid of 100. So I can multiply both sides by 100. So my 100s cancel out just like above when we were multiplying. So it's really only multiplying this side by it. So I have 100 sine of 84 over 573 is equal to sine x. So just didn't have to do that, but anyways. Um, so you, what you do is 100 sine of 84 and we are dividing that by 573. So I get 0.1735. So approximately that sine of x. I'm not really rounding I'm gonna because I'm going to use my answer in the next. How do I solve for x now? I have to take the sine inverse. So I'm going to go sine inverse of my answer that gives me x to be 9.99, so about 10 degrees. Well, I hope that helped, and I will see you next time.